Hello, Libra. So you are a sign of balance and harmony. That is what you desire. That is what you yearn for. But right now you are focused on love, whether etheric or in the physical. And it looks like there is a knife here in a heart. So a little bit of... Um, three of swords action going on for you, perhaps. Um, we're going to pull a Celtic tree oracle to help you out. Um, I am not using the Celtic tree oracles of your sign because every person, um, your birth date has a particular Celtic tree oracle in it by birth date but I want to see what energy wants to assist you besides your regular um, energy to help you kind of get out of any stuck energy that you might be in and um, work from there. It's a little uh, moonstone here, a cream moonstone, which is good for uh, women health and um, fertility and also the intuition. So I'm going to be pulling from the Rider Waite Tarot first and asking what energy the um, they're in. I'm also told no upside downs. We are doing a past, present, future energy. So this no upside downs is, and my eyes closed, I'm not looking at the card. I'm trying to clear my mind, but while I'm talking, I'm not clearing it. I'm trying to clear my mind to allow for whatever guidance I have to come in. And they say this is past, and I'm not in my head to clarify that. This one is present, I hear. And this one is, of course, future. And I'm not going to flip these over. I'm going to look at what was in your past. So in the past, you had some teamwork and collaboration. And you're building upon on stuff. Um, everyone looks like they're considering each other's um, opinions. And um, except for, well, these two look like they're considering this one's opinions. But this one is standing up on a table like they're a little higher and they have a little disgruntled look on their face. So maybe they walked away and maybe that is you walking away from um, some teamwork that you were in. And remember, I said this is kind of like a love, um, kind of like a love reading, but you have to have uh, harmony in your relationships outside of your romantic ones in order to have harmony in your romantic ones. So currently in the present, you are being um, faced with a, a new career and new financial opportunities and new venture and prosperity. That's good. So you're focusing on the pinnacles, not on the heart. And there's a little wreath and a, you know, like you're able to go to the mountain peaks and and climb those in uh, the world and in the material world and matter. All right, and now in the future, what are you being presented with? Okay, so it says in the future, because of your new ventures, um, you will be presented with the ability to give and receiving and sharing wealth and generosity and charity and sharing. That's really good. Um, but again, and this is a Libra card too. Look at, he's holding the scales. But again, he's not looking very happy. He has um, his, his, he's frowning there a little. So maybe you're giving a little too much in the future and without getting anything back that is, um, filling up your cup because you can only give so much and then you kind of feel stretched out energetically um, even if you're not stretched out financially. So I'm going to pull some clarifiers on the future card of you giving. 
I'm told what, just one clarifier. So they want just the top card. And there's three more here. We might get into that later. This is a clarifier for the Six of Pinnacles. And it's saying you, you got through a lot um, to go to this new start, you know, so maybe, you know, maybe they weren't being supportive. Maybe they were being a little condescending. So you walked away because you knew that you were um, above whatever was going on here. And so you walked away and um, you created boundaries for yourself. So uh, that's why, because of all the hard work you got through, that's why you feel a little bit like, am I getting taken advantage of, taken advantage of again by giving um, my wealth and everything that I, that I earned very hard. Okay, and then I'm told not to pull these yet. These ones I'm going to save. I want to go into the Celtic Tree Oracle and... I'm told just do a split. So, okay, it wants to split there. The reed is the Celtic tree oracle that would like to step in and give you a message, dear Libras. We celebrated the harvest now, thus we honor completion and also prepare for the coming of winter. This portal calls for direct action towards the fulfillment of our intentions, dreams, and desires. This is a threshold month in which we can set and deliver our last intentions for the year's ending. The double helix of our DNA is a symbol for this period. Reed includes grasses, bamboos, cattails, and other plants with long, hollow shoots. So what's funny is that um, it says in the Northern Hemisphere, September 5th through October 2nd, which is actually in Libra. Uh, so even though I said I haven't been pulling um, the actual Celtic tree oracles for the Zodiac, I've just been letting whatever fallout that wants to help and guide uh, like um Taurus was actually holding the scales and like it shows in the Libra card I chose for this um series of Celtic tree oracle um it's the black moon card here it shows that she's not holding any scales um and so the reed isn't isn't about the scales either it is about the harvest so when you get read in a reading it is time to focus on a desired outcome and take action if you are looking for a job make calls and set up appointments if you are working on a project set up your itinerary and get busy Today is the day. Set your intentions and back them up with daily affirmations. Ask your community for help and seek out those who will support you. Call upon those who are in a position to lend you a helping hand. It is time for strong, determined action. Go for the bullseye. Use your energy to make your dreams come true. This card also asks you to either reset your intentions and goals to make them more current or more realistic or to re-energize them. Take stock. Write down ways you can implement your dreams. It is time to take concrete actions towards your goals. Even small steps can make a big difference. This is a great time to seek out a friend who can act as a support and a witness, helping you launch your ideas into reality. So the message, the meditational message for Reed, I represent action. 
No more apathy, please. Align with spirit and ask for direction. Align with the power of the owl or the pike. They know how to stalk and hunt. What do you want? It is time to go for it. Stick to your resolve. Set your intentions and take steps towards outcomes. I ask you to take yourself seriously. Believe in yourself. I send you courage and fortitude and the belief in a positive outcome, no matter what. You are here for a purpose, to fulfill your own choices. To fulfill your own choices. So be wise of what they are. Be wise of your action. Be wise of your actions and your thoughts. Do you, are you? Do so with creativity and a spirit of fun. Okay, so that reading was from the Celtic Tree Oracle Guidebook. And now I want to reveal these last three. And this is to continue of where you're going, giving charity, because you just um, went through a hard battle and then it you had a new opportunity outside of it's like you went through that those um you went through those attacks or uh the boundaries and resilience of others and you got through got out of it to stand up as your own person and with your own wand and tack ready to act and right now you are sitting at a choice point which direction do you want to go? Where do you want to take this? Follow those dreams and you'll be sitting in abundance enough to give to others. So these last three cards, and I was told to read them like this. Ooh, you got an ace of pinnacles and an ace of wands. So you got new projects and inspiration, the urge to create new willpower and desire, power, potential, beginnings, new opportunities, just like the ace of pinnacles where you're sitting at now is new opportunities and now you have the desire to take those opportunities and to do something with it and you might be meeting some challenges um but you have the upper ground now just like in this right here you had the upper ground so you still have the upper ground. And so maintain control. That's the message for that. And you're going to maintain control as the queen of wands. You sitting in your power, your independence, your confidence, your focus, zest for life, determination, joy, and courage. Okay, so that is... You're reading Libra, and I hope you have a beautiful day.